What's up guys, how you doing? This is Michael Lee. Welcome back to my channel, It's Sold For What, where we talk about all things real estate in the Palm Beach County market, specifically West Palm Beach. And this time we're gonna talk about what is a stable real estate market and are we headed back to one? Let's go. For a lot of work in one of your best neighborhoods of your choice, but it allows you to roll those renovation costs All right, guys, so the 2020 and 2021 real estate markets really had us all in a frenzy. You had homes selling within hours, maybe even days. You had 50 plus people showing up to open houses for anything that came on the market, pretty much. And that is not signs of a stable market. So I'm going to give you the details of what a stable market really is and how we are headed back to one and why prices are going to become more affordable in the near future. So you'll see towards the end of 2023, beginning of 2024, the market should become more stabilized and have more buyers enter the market that have been sitting on the sidelines or who have been outright pushed out of the market because they can't afford the new prices that are happening within West Palm Beach. Now, a stable real estate market is gonna focus on a few things. Number one, inventory. How many months of supply do we have for people that are looking to buy or sell a home? Now, in a balanced market, you're going to have five to six months of supply. Also, we look at employment. Why does that matter? Because if people have a good, stable job and they are having income that is going to be increasing over the course of time, they're going to look to put in an application for a home, which means employment is another factor as well. And also price. Price matters as well because depending on your income level, it determines what kind of price of home that you can afford. So those are really the three key factors that I like to focus on in determining whether the real estate market is balanced or not. So specifically in West Palm Beach, we currently have an inventory supply of homes of about 3.5 months. Now, if you compare that to the same time last year, we were at about 1.8, 1.5 months of supply of homes on the market, which means a lot of homes are sitting there a little bit longer than they were last year, maybe because if you compare it to the interest rates right now, as you see in the news a lot. Interest rates have increased, which means you have a limited supply of buyers, which means there aren't as many buyers in the market looking to purchase homes as there are people looking to sell their homes. So what does that do in a simple economic display? Large supply, low demand, price drops, as we're seeing currently right now. Now I can compare that to the recency of prices as well. Now the average median list price in West Palm Beach, and let me check my notes here, is going to be $446,000. Now the recent median sold price of homes in West Palm Beach is $330,000. Now that's a difference of $116,000 that you're seeing in what's being listed on the market and what's actually selling on the market. Now, if you compare that to the same time last year, you had a median list price of $325,000, but the median sold price was $285,000, which is a difference of $46,000. So if you can see that gap over the course of just a short year, it's going from here and it's going to be a large difference. So that means sellers are becoming a little bit more negotiable and prices are going to come down if you can see that as well. And I could probably try to put up a graph, you give me some seconds or, you know, let me work on that a little bit. I get my, I guess, YouTube editing game right and try to show you guys graphs and all that. I'll try to do that, spice it somewhere in here, you know, work with me on that. But in conclusion, I would say right now, homes are taking a little bit more time to sell because why? The list price is a little bit too high. Buyers are starting to come into the market, but they're not willing to pay those higher prices. You still have high interest rates when it comes to getting mortgages compared to 2020 and 2021, where you had interest rates under 4%, sometimes under 3.5%. Buyers were plentiful, but the house prices were too high. So you just had that discrepancy there. Now it's on the reverse. Prices are still high, but they're declining as well as interest rates are dropping slowly but surely. So that's why I think a little bit towards the end of the year, you're gonna to start to see a little bit more of a balanced real estate market when it comes to homes being bought and sold on the market as well. So if you guys like this information I'm sharing and you want to read more information about the West Palm Beach market or the Palm Beach County real estate market as a whole, check out itsoforwhat.com where I share tremendous amounts of articles, home prices in specific areas such as Jupiter, Palm Beach Gardens or North Palm Beach outside of West Palm Beach as well. If you're looking to move down from maybe New York, Connecticut, California, it doesn't matter where at. 
check us out. And until next time, guys, I'll see you next week. Peace.